Hi everyone, today I thought I would do a picture from this book. Um, this is a lovely Mandela's book that I was gifted. Um, it is um, Amazon paper, um, which some people um, don't find too good. I did see this morning a video on using um, watercolour pencils on Amazon paper and how it would stand up to it, which I thought was quite interesting. I haven't watched it. Um, didn't get time to watch loads of um, videos. But um, I'm going to use my Black Widow, so I'm just trying to reorganise. And I found this really lovely page. Um, it's quite a way through the book. And uh, if I come in a bit closer, you might be able to see. So it's sort of grapevines, which I thought was lovely. Now, grapes feature in quite a few books. Um, there's several pictures of grapes, I think, in Johanna Bassford, for example. So I thought I would show you how I would colour these grapes. So I'm, we're just going to do a little bit because um, it's a repeating pattern. And then you can use the technique maybe for other books if you don't have this one. Or you can just um, watch and listen and enjoy. So I'm just going to come in a bit closer. And I think we're going to do a sort of section. I haven't thought about the centre yet. Unfortunately, the book is quite new, so it wants to keep shutting and moving, which is uh, a little tricky, but we'll, I'll, I'll get there. Now, I've decided that Black Widows is the way to go. There's a lovely um, selection of purples in the sets that I have, particularly the Cobra set, which we'll probably be using the most for the actual grapes. And the Scorpion set that I've had quite recently has got a really nice selection of greens. So we'll be able to mix it up a bit, find all the colours we need. Also, these are quite small, so um, we'll be able to uh, get in there with the Black Widows because they are... Um, nice and fine. So let's make a start. I like to go light to dark um, on grapes a little bit. You don't have to do it this way. So I'm going to start with the purple haze from the Cobra set. And uh, which set? Oh, I think we can come in a wee bit closer. There we go. And we'll do this. Set. So I'm going to colour all the grapes with a light um, layer of the purple haze. Now this paper is quite toothy. If you've got the UK edition of this book it might be slightly different. I find UK Amazon paper seems to be slightly less toothy than the US paper but um, when I say toothy I mean rough. When you run your finger over it you can feel that there's bumps in the paper and if you use watercolours ever, you will find that that is the type of paper that they use to hold up to the um, water. But for um, coloured pencils, a smoother paper is preferred by quite a few people. If I do a printout of a page, I use Bristol Board, which is so smooth. It's silky smooth. It's lovely. But the more tooth you have, the more rough it is, um, the more layers you can build up. So it all depends on your preference. So this is called Grape, so it's perfect. This is again from the Cobra set and I'm going to think about where I'm going to make, how I'm going to shade my grapes. What I think I'm going to do is make them darker all the way around the edge and look a bit shinier in the middle. I'm going to layer this down a bit more thickly because this is going to be almost my final colour. So you see I'm going to try to make it darker where the black line is and fade it towards the middle doing none in the center so we've just got that lighter purple. We're going to do the same on each of the circulars. So we're going to do each one individually. It does take some time but I think it's worth it. I use this technique on, I didn't use these particular pencils, I didn't have them, but in Johanna Basford's Secret Garden there is a lovely picture of a vegetable garden and it's got grapes and apples and different fruits and vegetables in it and uh, I, the grapes are much smaller than these but I did each one individually and I felt that it was really worth the effort to, uh, to get them each grape looking shiny and lovely and I do enjoy colouring them personally I enjoy colouring spheres I don't know why <laughs> I guess we all have things we prefer over other things the sun is going in and out and in and out. It's quite cloudy out there. It, uh, it's supposed to be quite a bright day. I did mean to go and get a cup of tea before I started this video and I forgot. Oh well, so 
so I'm a bit dry. I haven't, my water bottle's empty as well. I need to go and sort myself out in a bit. But we'll do this one first. It's a nice, fun video. I've been experimenting with a few shorts as well. Um, I have found a way to make them with this camera because normally with shorts you use a phone because it um, records in portrait. My camera records in landscape and shorts have to be portrait. But I found that I can just turn my camera around and it all works perfectly, which is good fun. So uh, I can do a few for you. What I like to do is if I've got a picture with some glitter and you and I coloured it but I haven't not as a video I want to just show off that yes it will be in my um completed videos um you know what I completed in June, July, whatever it might be. Um but um I can do a little short so you can just properly see the shine. I might also do some quick um colouring at some point for you and uh have a play with that. Um I can't what some people do is they do a little snippet of their main video, but um, I can't do that because I usually record in landscape. So, uh, and although my son's going to show me how to use his editing software next time he edits, and he might be able to change the video from landscape to portrait, you know, chop it a bit or something, I don't know. It's obviously a very technical, I think trim is the word we might use. <laughs> <laughs> but my software is really basic because that's about my ability really but he's as I say he's going to teach me so I might be able to do something a little bit more exciting okay so now hopefully I just bash the desk with my leg I'm sorry you can see what we've got they look much more spherical now which is great fun but what I want to add is a little bit of shading um sorry the page will move when I let go um, hmm. where they're meeting each other there would be some shadow and I'm going to do that shadow in this colour it's called Space it's another one from the Cobra set it's a very dark purple so I'm sort of thinking all the places where they sort of touch particularly these ones here that are really near the back you can just add a little bit of this darker purpley colour get some shadows and they could use black as well if you're using a different set of pencils and you don't have another dark purple black does work but uh, if you've got a purple I think it's slightly nicer but there we go now what you could do hang on we've got one two three four five six we've got eight so you could do purple green purple green or purple red purple purple red green no that won't work purple it doesn't divide but you can do every other one a different color if you wanted i'm going to stick with this color because i just really like it as simple as that now here we've got oops here we've got another circle um i'll probably do that the same as that and we've got we're going to do some greenery though now now grapes i always think are slightly quite pale slightly olivey in color i'm going to actually try the olive green from the scorpion set i think it's going to be a good color <laughs> so we're going to do the stem now what i'm going to do i love that color gorgeous and i'm going to do this bit in the same color as well as I say, I'm going to do that circle like the grapes. And we're going to do one of the leaves. Let's do this leaf. Oh. Is it all in shot? Pretty much. So I'm going to just do it all in this colour to start with. And you could just leave it in this colour. But we'll find a darker colour to um, add to it in certain areas in a bit. You could make this layer this colour up and make it darker but uh, I think it can be easier to um, 
easier to add a darker colour rather than layering this up, particularly on this paper. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm just going to colour all this leaf in. I was going to say talk amongst yourselves, but I guess you want me to talk. <laughs> so um, by the time this video goes out, I will probably have a start date for my kitchen. I've been talking about it for a while. Um, we had a meeting on Saturday with their rep. It was all very positive. Um, she's the sort of designer. She came up with a few good ideas for sort of positions of certain cupboards and drawers and things like that, which were brilliant. So that was very exciting. And we're going to go and see her in a few days' time when she's back in the office to finalise the design. She's going to do a sort of 3D thing on the computer, you know, to show us. And then arrange a meeting with the builder. And then we'll get a start date. And fortunately, the cupboards that we want have a six-week lead time, which means that the work is going to be starting later than we had hoped. But... Um, they think they will still be done by the time the children are back at college, which is the main thing. I don't need all the work to be absolutely completed, but I need a working kitchen so that I basically, I just need a sink and a cooker, uh, oven, you know. I think getting the cooker in is going to be easier for them. Or, although I don't know, we've decided I'm going to find a darker green. There right, isn't a darker green in the scorpion set they're quite bluey so i'm gonna look in my other sets i think actually the um i'm just gonna yeah i'm gonna use the forest this is from the cobra set there you go and i'm just gonna do bits and pieces darker and you'll see as i go are we a bit out of shot there we go the book keeps moving um, we're going to have a separate hob and oven, so I may not have a hob as quickly because it's got to be set into the worktop, which takes time. See, the thing, what they do is they order the cupboards and that takes some um, six weeks because of the colour of paint that we want. Um, then, once they put that all in, they order the worktop. See, I'm doing a little layer along the edge and I think it makes it look slightly rounder because the stems would be rounded. The worktop then is made to measure, so they measure it all and order the worktop. That's got a two-week lead time. So, you know, we get times getting on. Um, but yes, we're having a separate hob and oven um, because our walls aren't straight so trying to fit in just thinking I'm going to do these tendrils next while I decide what to do with the big leaf I'm going to do them in the same way as I did this so just doing a darker edge so because our walls aren't straight if you put a freestanding cooker in it the gap between the edges of the worktop won't be even if they set the hob into the worktop which is made to fit then it will all look a lot neater and tidier which um, sounded good idea so they may need to put the sort of worktop in before they can set the hob into it but I might be able to have the oven sooner and that will have a grill which will be nice so that, and I can sort of start roasting veggies and things but uh, trying to we're trying to work out where to put our makeshift temporary kitchen while the work's going on. Um, she did say they might be able to lend us an induction ring, which sounds good. Um, hmm, I think I'm going to go dark around the edge. And then just bring it in. And fade it in. And... Um, We've got a microwave which has got an oven and grill function on it but I've never used them because you've just used the and it's quite small so I'm not sure whether I will find it easier just to microwave things like veggies and stuff. Um, yeah, it's a little bit um, tricky because uh, because I've got so many food intolerances I can't just go and buy a ready meal and warm it up 
it's unfortunate. So because I'm lactose intolerant and I don't eat meat, I virtually have to go with vegan food, which is absolutely fine. But most people who make vegan food put chilli in it to give it flavour. Now, not only am I not a fan of chilli, chilli upsets my stomach really badly. Like within hours, I'm in a lot of pain and the tummy ache lasts for weeks. So I'm not um, a fan <laughs> of eating chilli. So, um, um, I, uh, and also I struggle with onion and garlic. So all those sort of key ingredients that people put in vegan food to give it flavour, which I absolutely can understand why I can't eat. I'm going to go back to my olive green now to tidy this all up. Now I think I'm quite happy with the way the stems and tendrils look, although I'm just going to um, fiddle with this bit because it's a larger area, just a little bit. But here I'm going to sort of bring the colour, add another layer of this to blend in with the darker colour, but leave it lighter in the centre. I did say I wasn't going to do this, but I wasn't going to, you know, use the same colour, but uh, I think it's going to work now with that slightly darker one on the edge. Now the centre, I want to be a bit lighter, but I feel that it needs something. I'm going to see if there's a yellowy green in my different pencils. Mm, I wonder about that. There's a light yellow in the Cobra. I'm going to just try that and see if it just gives it a little bit of vibrancy rather than it looking white like the paper. I think it will just make it look warmer. I like that. There we go. Um, yeah, so let's do this, a few of these circles, just the same way, and the flower, just so you can see all of it, really. So the purple haze first, going to do, I think I'll do these two, like that, then the grape, I, don't, I think that was it, because the other one was used for shadowing, wasn't it, um, yeah, so the makeshift kitchen, we can, we've got room for our table upstairs, we'll have to sort of eat on the sofa or our, at our desk, which will be feel a bit slovenly but you know we'll manage I think the boys think that's quite fun now for this flower I think I might do a green outside with our olive so again the scorpion set olive green oops let's move it into shot let's put it in the middle or else it's um it might not come into focus I'm just doing a light layer and then I'm going to have a think about where to if and where to add any extra I think I'll just layer it up again, make it a little bit darker. Um, yeah, so, and we'll need a kettle and a toaster, of course. Now, we, we like couscous, which is great, so easy. So you just basically add your hot water on top and you've got a, a pasta, which is fantastically easy. Or we often crumble a stock cube in and then, you know, and then use that and it's really tasty so that's a great option for us I am thinking of my flower colour while I'm talking by the way um, I'm thinking a pink but I'd quite like a darkish pink what's that colour? Oh, those are reds I want a ready pink but there isn't one so I'm going to make one so I'm going to use the blood diamond this is from the cobra set <clears throat> excuse me and go over all the petals in a really, really light layer. Can you see? I'm just gently caressing the paper. Yeah, so I think in a way it's going to be exciting, but I think it's going to get tiresome after a while. Um, I'm just looking at my pinks. I think we'll try the delicious pink. I just the name. It's amazing, isn't it? This is from the Scorpion set. I don't know how well that's showing up. The sun is um, 
not being good to me today. So I'm going to go all the way over with this and then I might darken up some areas. See that's gone a nice darkish colour. Now mm, I'm going to go back to my blood diamond and mark in the areas I want darker. I think I want it darker near the centre. So I'm just going to actually layer it down quite thickly, just either side of that little black mark, and try and fade it up a bit so that we can blend it in in a minute. So yeah, I think breakfast will be dead easy. You know, we usually have fruit and cereals, it's very simple. Um, Lunch time we usually have toast, that would be pretty easy. And uh, it's just the evening meals, it's trying to find protein for me. Um, the children I could buy ready meals with curry chicken and things like that, they'll be happy. But because I don't eat meat, it's going to be a little trickier. Delicious pink again, and just, I'm not going to take it all the way to the edge. So I think I'm going to just go over what we've done so that it looks a bit more pinky. Take it almost to the edge and then I'm going to use a lighter shade to finish it off. You'll see. Um, yeah, so I could roast chickpeas and put them in the freezer and warm them up in the microwave. But I've got limited freezer space. I mean, I've got big freezer, but I'm just choosing my next pink. Um... But, or I might go white. I think I'm going to go white. But if we're without a kitchen for four to six weeks, that's a lot of freezer space. This is called Casper. It is from the Black Widow set and it is the white. And I'm going to go around the edge and hopefully the white will just, yeah, burnish down that pink so it looks paler. I don't know if the white is actually drawing anything on the paper. I think it is a little bit. Because whites aren't always that good. But its I know what the effect is I'm looking for. And it is providing it. Which is good. It's just burnishing down those edges. A little bit. Now we've got the central part. Now we could go with the purple. But I don't know whether to go for a different colour. You know, we could do a yellow flower centre or something like that. But I'm not sure how well it's going to work. I'm just having a little think. I think we'll do that inner ring with the delicious pink. So this, this, well, I guess it's the outer ring, isn't it? I keep it quite light. I'm going to layer that up a little bit. Maybe we'll use our red in the centre. See how that works. Let's do that. So we use the blood diamond again. This is from the Cobra. Sorry, we're sort of moving around sets a bit. But uh, there we go. That's a little bit red. I'm just going to go over it with a little layer of the pink. I still want it. I want it to be darker than the flowers, but I want it to look pink rather than red if I can. Or at least pinky red. One of these looked a bit red. I don't think I went over them all that well. Yeah, looks quite watermelony. <laughs> that wasn't my intention, but I'm quite happy. So if I draw that out into shot, so you can get an idea of um, how it's going to look. Hang on, let's try and get it all in view. There we go. So obviously um, the rest will be the same. Um, it's quite fun, relaxing, just a few colours, it's not too um, tricky with regards to too many, obviously I've got three sets, so three tins out with different, but uh, I think it should be fun, so uh, I hopefully you can use, sort of use that technique for other um, spheres or grapes or whatever as well, but uh, it's just quite simple, but I think it gives a rather warm and quite effective result. So I will finish this page. Um, I'm never sure whether I'll get it finished by the time I edit the video or not because I'm never quite sure of my time scales and what's going on in the day and things like that. So I've got my son home this afternoon so I might, may just colour then. 
um, while I'm um, trying to get him to do some revision. So, <laughs> but we'll see. So anyway, um, I will put a finished picture up at some point on my Facebook page for you. Probably it will be tonight, you know, when the video, the day the video goes out, I will have it done by because I'm recording about two weeks in advance. So it gives me plenty of time to finish. But I like to do my editing quite quickly. So um, I may not be ready for a thumbnail picture at the end of this video. But either way, um, I hope that was okay and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, see if you can fit in even a little bit of colouring and uh, if not, make sure you have some fun. So thank you again for watching. Um, oh, please subscribe if you haven't. It does make a big difference to making sure that more people get to see the videos, which um, I really hope they do because, um, you know, I want people to I want to share my enjoyment of colouring with other people. So if you um, subscribe, that means YouTube seems to then show the video to more people. Don't know why. That's just the way they do it. So thank you so much and happy colouring. <laughs>